What's up guys, it's Nana back here with another video and in today's video I'm going to be doing a short little video just because I haven't put out in a video in a while but stay tuned there will be more content coming soon it's just been really busy these past couple weeks with me but um, just to put out a short little video for you guys I'm going to be naming my top five future stars of the WWE in 2020. Now, this is halfway, well, more than halfway through 2020 already. And there has been people that have opened my eyes to them. They have really impressed me. Um, so I want to say who I think is going to be even more of a star um, by the end of 2022. So this is in no particular order. But at number five, we have Shotzi. Shotzi, at the beginning of the year, she was doing nothing. Royal Rumble, she was not memorable. Then WrestleMania, she didn't have a match. Um, and it wasn't until, I would say, around, like, Backlash, WrestleMania Backlash this year, when Charlotte left, that Shotzi was really a, a pivotal um, person and kind of a pillar in the women's division for SmackDown this year. I mean, there's no Charlotte, so... Shotzi's kind of the number one heel, probably behind Natalia, maybe, um, right now. But Shotzi was, like, the number one heel in the women's division on SmackDown. And she has really been impressing me these past um, couple weeks. I know she's been an amazing talent on NXT, but when she just got to the main roster, I thought it was she was just going to get released and she was just going to fall into the background. But... Um, yeah, ever since that feud with Aaliyah and stuff, she has just been killing it week after week. And I'm so excited to see her in the Money in the Bank ladder match. And she is one of my favorites to win. Um, next up, we have Tony D'Angelo. Now, this is going to be a mix. I should have said this, but this is going to be a mixed reign. It's not just main roster or um, NXT. But Tony D'Angelo has been really impressing me the beginning of the year i started kind of liking tony d'angelo and um i know he's not the best in the ring i would say he's not the best in the ring he's he's a good wrestler but he is just his character he has so much charisma i feel like um and he is just i feel like he's got that it factor with him that he might not be the best in the ring but he just has so much personality and it can go it could lead him to a far way i mean um far into um wwe and nxt hopefully they don't ruin him if he gets to the main roster but i see him as a big star and possibly maybe north american champion later this year just a prediction there um keeping on the topic of nxt 2.0 we have tiffany stratton now tiffany she is become one of my favorites on um nxt in the women's division um she's probably second right now behind cora jade um but she is just an amazing amazing talent she reminds me not exactly like bianca belair but she reminds me of her like it factor um like bianca belair like bianca belair just took it and ran with it and she was so good improving every single time Similar to what Tiffany is doing right now. So I could see her possibly as a future star. Well, not even possibly. She is going to be a future star in the WWE. And she can just be improving, improving, improving. Um, she, ha she hasn't really had a major push or like a major storyline with anybody. But now that she's with Wendy, um, I mean, feuding with Wendy Chu, um, possibly, hopefully... We could see her start feuding with like bigger names like Alba Fire or Cora or maybe even um, turn face and challenge Mandy for the title. I mean, there's so much stuff they could do with her. And I'm excited to look into the future and see what she can do. Next up. Now, these ones were hard to pick. Not going to lie, um, because I think those three are t are my favorites. But I try to look at the bigger picture and try to see, like, who I think could is just missing a little something. Um, so these next two, they're kind of picks that I don't think are big stars right now, but are going to be in the future. And that first person, it might come to a shock for you guys, but I think that Mustafa Ali is going to be a star in the future. Now, Mustafa, I know we had those issues, um... 
at the beginning of the year wanting to get released. Or was it late last year? I think it was. But even though he isn't getting the star, I mean, the, isn't getting the best treatment right now, I think they're just waiting to pull the trigger on him for some storyline. Now, he could... He had that amazing match against Austin Theory. And last night at the Battle Royal, I mean, he wasn't a jobber that just got eliminated quick. Like, he was a part of a um, pivotal moment in that match, getting out Veer Mahan. And he uh, might have gotten eliminated during the commercial break. But I think that feud with Ciampa and him could push not only him, but both of them to the next level. But I think that Mustafa Ali, I guarantee that he will hold a mid-card title before the end of the year. I don't know if it's going to be on intercontinent, the Intercontinental or if it's going to be the United States, but he is going to hold one of those titles this year. And now next up, this person, he's kind of um, he's kind of a big star already, but I just see him as a huge, a bigger, bigger star. And that is Theory. Now, Theory, he is one of my favorites on um, one of my favorites on in WWE, I should say, and on Monday Night Raw. And he might be United States champion, and he might have all this stuff, like him being Vince McMahon's protege and him getting stunned by Stone Cold at WrestleMania and all that. I honestly think that he will be a challenger for the... I don't know if it will just be the regular wwe title or the universal or the undisputed or whatever but he will be a challenger by the end of this year for one of those world titles he will have a world title match by the end of the year and i'm calling it right now so those are my just people that i think are going to be big stars in the future um so leave your opinions down in the comment section below and leave who you think is going to be a big star in the future here in the wwe but like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, champs.